significant milestone for vocational education in the Gambia. The Ministry of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology officially inaugurated the Canila Skills Centre on Wednesday under the University of Applied Science and Technology. This event aims to enhance technical skills among youth and promote sustainable development in the Fonyi Council Art District. The Canila Skills Centre is designed to provide hands-on training in various skills including welding, tailoring and sewing mechanical engineering, plumbing and fabrication. The centre seeks to address the present need for skilled labour in the Gambian job market. At the inauguration ceremony, the Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Professor Pierre Gomez, emphasized the government's commitment to improving educational infrastructure and creating employment opportunity for young people to combat high youth unemployment and the growing issues of irregular migration. He also highlights that despite progress and a clear vision for sustainable development, challenges persist. Despite these strides and the clear vision for sustainable development, challenges persist. Key among these are limited funding, provision of equipment for the newly established centers of excellence, and fostering greater community engagement in Tibet, because this is hands-on education, hands-on equipment, and they are very, very expensive. So it's not just mere pronouncement. So hands on deck for all partners, the, uh, government and friends of the Gambia, to ensure that we really work together and change the dynamics and respond to the needs and aspirations of the youths of this country. And Mami Chiba, National Assembly member for Fonyi Kansala, express gratitude to the government for its commitment to enhancing technical and vocational education and training in Tibet. He referenced a shared vision of progress aimed at creating a skilled workforce and urges both students and parents to embrace the training and knowledge that will be impacted to them. To the students who will be walking through the doors to this center, I urge you to seize this opportunity with both hands, embrace the training and knowledge that will empower you here. Remember, the skills you are required are not tools for securing jobs. They are instruments of empowerment that will allow you to shape your destiny and that of your families. The Turkish ambassador to the Gambia, F. Truga Oba, underscored the significance of the country's youthful democracy, stressing the need to address the challenges surrounding youth unemployment. Employment of the youth is higher than the average unemployment rate of the country. We have to tackle the unemployment issue. We have to bring hope to train the youth for the market needs and to make sure that a company in need may find qualified, skilled labor easily. Madam Henrietta Sonko, director of MRC Holland Foundation, outlines how skills acquisition can be a game changer for personal and national development. She reiterated her foundation commitment to continuing support for the Canila Skill Center. The Honorable Minister and the Honorable National Assembly member, we are here to stay. Thank you. We are not yet done. What we said when we started, let's do the job which is required to kickstart this place. Because only if you kickstart the place, you will know where the gaps are. You may want to come up with different areas which you didn't envisage before you started the works. But as we go on, we will find out what else we will be requiring. And the sky is the limit for Fonyi Kansala, my, my home. All the speakers include Sona Bayer, the ticket country representative, and the vice chancellor of USED, both of whom envision USED as a leader for others to emulate. I want a USED where they will need anything in the country and come to us. Our commercial uh, center, where commercial aspects, the innovation, the Institute of Innovation and Entrepreneurship is up and doing, ready to make sure that we have our production center working. And that is why we are having all this, our TVET center coming. To the purpose of TICA's support to the center is to provide the necessary equipment, materials and supplies for the center's welding and tailoring programs to ensure effective skill trainings in these areas. The donated materials will also facilitate the transfer of the skills most needed in these industries. 
as the Gambia continues to invest in education and technology. The integration of Kanila Skill Center marks a pivotal step towards building a skilled workforce capable of driving national development. For TFN News, I am Ali Ujalo.